again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 17th of January, 2019. The article was published by Medical Kidnap. It was uh, posted on January the 17th, 2019. Title Arizona Child Removed from Loving Family and Placed into Foster Care, where she was repeatedly raped, then 80% of her body was burned. You see a photograph of this beautiful girl before they destroyed her body with scalding water and destroyed her mind by raping her repeatedly. Two years old. Arizona girl raped and burned in foster care, still represented by same attorney, kept away from family. By Health Impact News. Earlier this year, June 2017, we reported on one of the most horrific examples of child abuse of a child who was taken into state custody by quote-unquote Child Protection Social Services Agency and put into the foster care system. We reported how one Arizona child was repeatedly raped as part of a pornographic cut off our ring in foster care and then placed into a different foster home where 80% of her body was burned with scalding water. We were only able to report on this because a court-appointed guardian of the child sued the Arizona Department of Child Safety, making the alleged crimes public knowledge. And there's another article you want to take a look at. The number of children in Arizona's foster care system rose 80% between 2003 and 2012, while foster care nationally declined 22% during the same period. You think maybe Arizona's like a hotbed? for this kind of activity? Sure seems that way based on the statistics. How Arizona removed an innocent child from her family and destroyed her life. A little girl from Tucson, Arizona was taken away from her family by Child Protective Services and placed into state custody. One of the foster parents is now in prison for running a pornographic pedophile ring and another faces criminal charges for holding her down in scalding water causing burns over 80% of her body. Young Davina was seized from her family just days before her second birthday. The social worker had no warrant or court order when she made the decision that would change the child's life forever. The question arises, what horrors did the real parents do that could justify CPS as putting a child into such heinous situations? Our investigation reveals the shocking truth. Nothing. The beautiful blonde haired blue eyed toddler was allegedly taken from her home under false pretenses. The allegations were shown to be wrong from the very beginning. Yet CPS, now renamed DCS, Department of Child Services, continued to pursue their case, placing the child into one nightmare situation after another which almost cost her life. Some people claim she would have been better off if she had been killed rather than face the horrors no child should ever have to face. Her maternal grandmother was already approved by the state of Arizona when she adopted another child, yet DCS had consistently refused to consider placing Davina with her. Her parental grandmother, likewise, was never considered as an option. Though she had never been abused in her own home, Devana was placed into foster care with strangers, and her abuse began almost immediately, according to her mother. You want to read the rest of the article? The whole thing is totally insane. This is a two-year-old girl that was raped repeatedly, and they made, obviously, pornographic child abuse videos. I don't know folks, uh, it just gets more difficult every day to make these videos. I feel like I'm in a sewer and it's starting to rise up, 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 up until it's completely over my head. Things like this are absolutely disgusting. Take a look at it. Read the article. Pass it along to your like-minded friends. Thanks for listening. Hopefully, 
the little girl will find some peace. But I don't know how. Do you?